Good morning lovely people, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another edition of, well, rooting around boot sales to see what we can find to sell for profit. <laughs> I'm going to be putting together what I found over Saturday and Sunday this week. All the best bits, all the juicy bits. So let's see if we can have a record breaking weekend. Off over to the far coast again this morning. Norcross, possibly one or two more. So let's have it. Let's get on the road, see what we can find. Uh, four pal each. Teddy's, or is that a big one? Oh, okay. Nine, fourteen. Is that five or three? Five. So how much one that? How many have you got? Uh, I've got three at three and two at five. Thank you very much. How much is your big? Pause. <laughs> See what I did there, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. Oh, it's in lovely condition that. Coming home with me. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, it's weird, isn't it, Teddy? I didn't think I'd get rid of it. Teddy's all gone. Yeah, away. yeah. It's just. I don't know. It's cuddly toys. Eh? Cuddly Thank toys. You. Always a winner. How are you doing, boss? How much are your phones? Fiver. <laughs> the Blue Planet, is it VHS or DVD? VHS, I think. VHS. Mm -hmm. I've watched you. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Thank you. Pound. Pound. To you. Oh, you're a good man, sir. Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll take that pound. Oh, you looked at that, do you? Yeah, yeah they, I love that as well, but oh. yeah. And how much is your Echo Dot? Is it a dot or is it a, it's a round one? Yeah, the same one. What is it called? Uh, Echo Dot. Oh, it's it's got like that. a smart speaker thing. Oh. I'm thinking of a spot. Oh. <laughs> there you go, boss. Thank you very oh, much. You. What's your name? Bill. Bill, nice to meet hey, you, Bill. I'll watch you. There you go, you're famous now, mate. <laughs> Always like spending money with folk who follow the channel. <laughs> <laughs> follow, follow this channel. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Morning. Nice, How much is your fireside set? A fiver. Yeah, we can do a fiver for that. Is it? It's a brand new one. Ah, uh, be out of my budget that one. <laughs> yeah, thank you very thank you. much. Thank you, cheers. How much is your scrabble? Two quid. Keep it simple. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, you too. On the wheel. Hiya. Is it a fiver on that? Seven. Right. You gave up yeah. me aggling really it's easily one, then, didn't I? <laughs> it's one that comes out on an yeah. arm as well. Thank you so very yes, much. Thank you very much, Will. Have a good day, ladies. Thank you. 
an induction one. Yeah. It does work, I just tried it out before. It, it needs to be uh, steel. What a piece. What I did, I got a piece, an only piece of plate. It's yeah. Plate on it. Right, okay. Um, KH1241. Sometimes my level of muppetry knows no bounds, you know. Really, really, really impressive results from today. And you would have seen a lot more of it if it wasn't for the fact that some complete nugget forgot the spare battery pack for the GoPro. <laughs> Ugh. Right, I'm going to give you a quick flash of what I picked up today. That's all you're getting because the rest of today is going to be spent mostly in a beer garden because it's cracking the flags out there. And then I'm going to wake you up nice and early tomorrow morning and we're going to get over to Wales. Final decision. I made my decision. We're going to Wales tomorrow. Chirk Boosel. So enjoy the rest of your Saturday and I'll see you in the morning. Day two of a boot sale weekend, and I must confess, I very, very nearly rolled over and went back to sleep <laughs> this morning. <laughs> Go further afield today over to Chirk, which is in North Wales, not too far from Wrexham. And I think this coming week is going to be absolutely belting for sourcing. It was absolutely scorching yesterday. Weather is predicted for much of the same today and through the rest of the week. So time to make hay while the sun shines. Gonna need a strong coffee to get me jump started though. <laughs> right, let's get on the road and get over there. Today's already an improvement on yesterday. Remembered the spare GoPro batteries. <laughs> How much is your stylophone? The stylophone. Um, three pounds. You can do three pounds. Oh, brilliant. Have you got change? Uh, oh, I brought me five and let me see what I've got in my pocket. There we are. Super job. Thank That's you very much. Cheers. Oh, controversial. What have you got in your hand? and it works yeah. perfect. I've just bought an up-to-date, you know, a more modern one. Oh, right, yeah. 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 The yeah. Same, exact same one. Are you multi in there for that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What charges and that so everything there. I put it all together last night, tried it again last night. Yeah. It's right. still amazing it still amazes me that uh, back in the day this is at the height of technology, isn't it? I've got all the, <laughs> my grandkids' school plays and what have you on that. I bought one once um, and there was a tape in it still. Mm. I made mucky movie, wasn't it? <laughs> Would you do a ten on it? I've had my use out of it. Yeah. Sound, thank you. Yeah, stuff like that. The old movies and that. I remember um, my, my kids are like in their early 30s now, and um, my bloody father in law recorded Formula One over their first Christmas. I was on VHS. I know he bloody strung him up, I'd say. Fair play. Have a good day to you, boss. Cheers, mate. Oh, that's tidy. Let's follow that. 20 quid, that one. Just told me not to get any less. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> That's a lump of a thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? She bought me that for Christmas. Look, look, look how do I need that while I've gotten away. <laughs> <laughs> you got five? Yeah. Awesome, thank you. That's Cheers, man. Nice. That's great. That's Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Have you got the lids for the flasks on these? Uh, they're in the tubs. Hey, I. Oh, yeah. Unless <laughs> you've got a steady hand. It's like, no, go on, I want to watch you. Yeah. Fluid, you? How much have you got on this set? Five. Five. Yeah, we'll go five. It was ten, go on five. Yeah. Oh, you're a good in. <laughs> have you got change there? Yeah, I've got plenty of change here. Yeah. There we are. You're a star. Smashing. Thank Cheers. You so Thank much. you. This is a good sign. Halfway around the field and back to the car already. I did pick up some big stuff though, to be fair. That couple who sold me the speakers were proper cool. I do like talking to old school bikers.
<laughs> Ready for the next person to do it. How much is it? 20 quid, bud. I did look no. online. It looked like the German one, it did. Yeah, the German, yeah. yeah. I can do 10. I'll do 15 on it, but that's the lowest you've got on it. Because I don't think the British ones have just arms in it, do they? No, they, they don't. The no. Did you come at 12? Can't go lower than 15. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I've got to try, haven't I? Yeah, you've got to try, mate. <laughs> it's one of them. You don't know until you know what I mean. I was going to keep it like for when I go fishing, that but I just yeah, never yeah. Used it, like, yeah, that's it's ideal for fish, oh, fishing, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Have you got the remote for that? Uh, no. How much you got on it? Sorry, how much is it? Any any leads or anything like that? Or just as it is? Just as it is. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. No worries. Would you go fiver on it? Yeah, we'll do, yeah, come on. Got right, mate. Thank Cheers, you. pal. Cheers, mate. You're on YouTube, are you? Yeah. I was watching you the other day. Well, cheers, man. Appreciate it. Is eBay doing well? Yeah, really well. I've had a particularly good week this week, but it's largely due to the value of the stuff I've been selling lately yeah. rather than how, how many items. Um, so yeah, it's all good. I'd rather I'd rather do it that way around because it's less bloody work. I've just opened up an eBay shop. Yeah. I haven't much luck with it. I'm not getting any views. Oh, well, they've changed um, they've changed the way they do things. It used to be a case of eBay registered all the web spiders as well. So basically, you know, they, like um, eBay spends millions and millions and millions a week on uh, Google ad ads. Yeah. Uh, so all those ads that appear on google count towards your view count so they've changed it now so it doesn't so what you're seeing is an actual real people looking at your items and even then it's only on like a 30-day rotation what are you doing um 25. Like that one Is that where it is? Is that where you're selling it on the internet? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. 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 So that is complete minus the charger, unfortunately. The charging lead. But I don't know if you can pick them up on eBay. What kind of charging lead is it? Um, That's the that question. That so whitted me this, you know. Do you want me to try and open it? Oh, okay. I think it's got a lock, so you flick it that way, and I just locked it. And then, can you see? Ah, oh, there we are. There's like two ports. Yeah, that's a HDMI, I think, that one. Oh, I might have one of those, you know. How much is it? Um, fiver. I just use my phone now. To yeah, realize. yeah. I suppose it's handy if you've got any underwater stuff to do, really, um, isn't yeah. it? Do you know what? I totally forgot it did that. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Can I ask a favour? Sure. If I've left anything on it, can you delete it? Oh, sure. <laughs> did I just... Hey, it, had, it happened. I, I bought a camcorder before now that had some, shall we say, homemade uh, oh, videos no, it made didn't. on. Oh, it wasn't flattering either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that a camera you've got on now? Yeah, I, I vlog for YouTube. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So please don't, um, if there's any photos underwater, uh, yeah, me no giving worries. it this. <laughs> just get rid of it all. Yeah, cheers, lovely. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Tara. Have a good day. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us on the evening. If it's a bit chilly, we yeah. put it on for half an hour. Yeah. Um, we got a lot of burning coal. Oh. Is it, are they sold together or are you selling the tape separately? I would sell all that lot for a fiver if you're interested. Right. But right, I can sell them uh, 50 p each if you're. Yeah. yeah, sorry. These are, I don't know if you're Probably. interested, these are brand new and I didn't, I didn't use them. Yeah. So all the others are old. So. I've got some near, near, and I don't even know how to pronounce it, Niwa. Yeah. Some, yeah. <laughs> yeah. some lights and they're very good quality. Yeah, well, they, they seem to be popular, they're growing. Yeah. But uh, no, I just haven't used them. So. All right. Fair enough. Thanks Thank you. Much. Have a good day. Oh, what happened? Would you go 15? Yeah, come on then. It's a lot you don't have to carry home, innit? <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Did you do any? 
cycling, yeah. not as much as I should, and not to, not to the level we have to wear specialist gear. <laughs> Say three three pound each. Yeah. And there's um, Endura waterproof um, all-in-one here, which is which is uh, that's a, that's probably about hundred quid. That is yeah. not 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 to you now, but of course, yeah. I'd have paid about hundred quid for that. For four. Do you tenner for four? Yeah. Nice one. I'm not pinch your angus. Do you want to buy them Endura ones for fifteen quid? I'll have a look at them. Um, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I buy to resell, so. Um, You'll certainly get your money back for yeah, them for yeah. 15 quid. So, I, I, I like finding out about new things as well, because obviously this is not something that I know a lot about. How much are they looking at on the net? Can't find it. Can you? No. I'm probably looking at the wrong thing though. Uh, what? Sinjura all in one it is. Bizarrely, I'm not finding it. I am tempted to take a punt on it though, you know. Do you offer a tenner? I can't. It's yeah, no worries. It's pound all the Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, you got to ask a question, innit? What do we know? 10, 20, 23. Okay. Thanks anyway, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. How much are you wet? Do you gull wet suits? Oh, uh, five pound each. I'm going to take the two gull, gull ones, please. Yeah, all the legs are all right. Yeah. That one and the one on the mirror. One. Yeah, please, and the one on the on the door. And the one on the door. There's, oh yeah, by the mirror, mum. There's a couple more there, aren't there? Yeah, there's two more there. There's three altogether. Oh, there's two oh, there. Oh right, okay. Did you want Are they both three? Cool? Yes, please. Yeah. yeah. So that will, do you want to buy? Uh, no, I'm just chucking the trolley. That's fun. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's very handy. Smashing cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you very much. Morning, ladies. Morning. How much are your vans? Uh, those are £5, those ones, they're pretty much brand new and you've worn a couple of times. So. Would you do three? Four pounds? Yeah, go on. Yeah. <laughs> There's always wiggle room in there. Yeah. <laughs> do you want a nice t-shirt to go with them too? No, I'm mowed out for t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like your upsell though. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> How much are the speakers? You can have them for a fiver. Bargain, can't leave them at that. I know. You know, the cubby is a little bit scuffed, you can take them off, they look a lot better. Yeah, <laughs> most people do, don't they? Yeah. And you can have the books. Oh, look at that, that's the bargain <laughs> of the day, that. Well, in those boxes, so yeah. <laughs> Cheers now, have a good day. Oh, no problem. Absolutely rammed. What a great day. This is by far the busiest I've seen, Chirk. I'm really knackered as well, dragging this trolley around the field. I filled it three times as tradition would have it i would go home to have a nap and man i need it today but it's motorbike time me and the boys are going up to lancaster so that's what i'm doing today it's about time i scrub my tires in anyway to be, to be fair they've been on a week we've got quite a bit to get through as well so i shall see you when i eventually get home i'll take you through what i picked up and let you know how much is getting listed for anyway i'll see you later <laughs> So I actually enjoyed the ride out that much yesterday that it's actually Monday now. I never got around to finishing the video. It's probably just as well, really, because there's rather a lot to go at. So I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to strap the GoPro to my head and take you through what I got. Strap yourselves in for this one. <laughs> Lordy, lordy, this is a lot of stuff. So total spend this weekend over the two days was £335. And for that, I got an absolutely whopping 82 items. Full disclosure though, all the boxes you see across the back by the radiator there, I actually picked up on a house clearance while I was out on Saturday. I'm going to include them because they're of interest. And obviously I did pick them up this weekend, but obviously they're not from a boot sale. Right, let's get into it. Let's get a bit of pace to this. First up, this really nice, amazing condition, Big Paws, source of the really terrible joke at the boot sale. Big Paws plush, really good condition. But I mean, it's not nothing special about it really. Bread and butter item, listing value 15 pound. I was quite surprised with these actually. I've got three Disney Store plushes, all got their tags on the feet, saying they're official Disney Store. We've got Dopey, happy and sleepy they'll be getting sold individually they've got 
beans in the bottoms as well, the weighted. Uh, listing value on those, £15 each. I've sold a few of these over the years. These are Harrods Christmas Bears. We've got 2004, normally they're named as well, but not in this case. Yeah, so 2004 and 2001. Again, £15 each on those. Nice phone sets, really, really in pretty minty condition this as well. So this is the BT2500, still a big market, as I've always been saying, for home phones. Now the listing of these is gonna go one or two ways. Uh, I've checked the condition, but I haven't checked to see if the rechargeable batteries are present. Rechargeable batteries are quite expensive so it can affect the price significantly worst case scenario i'll piece it out because the individual components the handsets the base units the chargers etc they all have value in their own right so even if there's one component of this that's knackered not to worry i'll piece it out but for the video i'm going to price it up for the complete set working and listing value on that 30 pound scrabble deluxe always good news there are a few different versions of the scrabble deluxe uh the one with the timer in is probably at the higher end you're probably looking at around about a 50 pound mark this one is scrabble deluxe without timer it's the one with the beveled board it's all raised listing value on that 30 pound sony playstation 3 remote paid very very little for this i think i only gave a quid for this and this is a listing value of 10 pound now the only reason well there's two reasons actually i picked up this vhs set one because it was brand spanking new and the other reason was the chap i bought it off is a subscriber and i do like to support people that support me not really any value in it if it's used but brand spanking new and sealed listing value 15 pound one of the few pickups from the Green Ash boot cell. This is an, a portable induction hob. These are very handy for caravans, campers, that kind of thing. Does need a bit of a clean up that, but the chap assured me it's working perfectly and he looked like an honest bloke. <laughs> I'm so naive sometimes. Listing value on that one, £30. Now this was my first pickup at Chirk yesterday and a very controversial one as well. I'd like to hear actually if you would list this. I'm going to, but I would like to hear back in the comments if you would. This is a Rolf Harris stylophone. This is a very, very collectible one. The stylophones, they, they can sell for pretty reasonable money. Nothing earth shattering. You want to be paying very little. But this particular version uh, comes with a record and it's got all its component bits. It looks in pretty ne decent nick. I haven't tested it at this stage. There are some comps up to £65 mark, something like that. I'm not expecting to get that for this really because most of the comps are sort of around the, the £30 to £40 mark. So my opening gambit for a listing value on this is going to be £40. When you see the words Sony and Handycam together, always check comps. This is probably one of the lower uh, value ones. Some of them can go for absolutely crazy money still. This is a Sony DVD-91E. It's got its remote with it, its audio leads, video leads and charger. It's got one battery with it, but I'm not expecting that battery to be up to much to be fair because they, they go knackered over time. And it's in its original box, which is a bit of a selling point, although the box is quite tatty. Listing value on that, £45. Right, coming on to these at the back, I'm not going to go through them indi individually because this video will be about three years long. What I will do though, is do a separate video on the valuation of these. I'll explain for why. For this video, I'm going to go down the bottom end of the comps because these, some, of these are, some of these models, and they're all figurines, are highly collectible. So the first, we've got a batch of six Neo figurines. The comps on them are between 50 15 and 75 pound so for the video i'm going to go right down the bottom end at a listing value of 15 pound each the next job lot here and the larger white boxes are compton and woodhouse figures now i checked comps on these and nearly fell on my backside incidentally for the whole lot the plates and all the figurines are paid 100 pound for the lot like this was from the house clearance the compton and woodhouse ones like i said there's 10 of those i still can't believe it the listing value range or the comp the comp range is between 25 and a thousand pound. If any of those are at the high end of that kind of range, in fact, if they're any more than 25 pound, then even at 25 pound each, I'm obviously well, well, well into profit. But the reason I'm gonna do a separate video on those is because I'm, gonna go, because I'm gonna go through them individually and see if I've hit the jackpot on any of them. So watch out the next video for that. Anyway. For the Compton and Woodhouse ones, again, I'm gonna go right down the lowest end of the comp range at 25 pound each. And just the odd one out was this uh, 
Thoughts of a Clown, this is a Leonardo figure. The figure is actually the figure on the box. Not fantastic value in that, but still, I'm into profit on the on the bundle anyway, as, as you've heard. Listing value on that one, £15. I do love my scales. I do love my scales. And the both of these sets are complete. We've got a black set, both cast iron, but the black set aren't branded. They're not marked up with any maker's marks or anything like that, but they do have the bell weights. I won't bore you with by going through the same spiel about the bell weights, but obviously getting more money for bell weights than any other form of weights when you're talking about these sets. So because there's no ma maker's mark on that one, I'm going to put a listing value of £30. The other one, the white ones are made in England, stamped up, again, bell weights complete set 35 pound listing value on that set and next to it a nice fireside set a fireside companion set should i say complete and in good nick listing value on that 30 pound now this Kenwood steam press. I would have walked, I would just would have ignored it completely if it wasn't for the fact that a good friend of mine gave me a similar type device just recently as well. And it sold really, really quickly for very, very strong money. Obviously, it was a massive pain in the ass to, to, <laughs> to pack. I think I flipped that for £90 and I got it for nothing. So I didn't mind making a box up and packing it out for that kind of return. There is only one comp for this machine, but because I've had experience before selling it, I'm going to st stick the same listing value on this as the last one i sold at 90 pound now this is this is a dvd recorder the lg drt 389h no remote or cables with it but for what i paid for it it's going to be worth my while sourcing it can be tested without the with, without a remote and obviously this only basically to figure of eight hdmi i'll need to test it which i've already got so before i start spending money on remotes then i can check it's working obviously so listing value on that 40 pound i have never ever ever seen one of these at boot sale before uh, originally i thought it was a 58 pattern british army sleeping bag but it isn't it's a german army sleeping bag i'll stick a picture on the screen right about now very good news for anglers these because you can actually wear them as a big coat really they've got sleeves in and you can unzip the knee area and sort of like step your legs out and tie the bottom of the sleeping bag up behind you so you can wear it as a big warm coat as well you look completely daft of course but still if you sat on a riverbank i'm sure that'll impress you listening value on the german army sleeping bag 45 pound now coming on to the plates again i won't go through them individually there's not significant value in the plates but obviously i'm well into profit on the rest of the uh, on the figurine bundle anyway so going through the brands charles ginn g-e-h-n obviously, obviously german plates two of those listing value 10 pound each eight of the reco plates which are american brand i believe five pound each the ones next to those five of edwin knowles are the brand on those again five pound each there's one wedgewood plate on those on, on there as well with a listing value of seven pound and there are a few loose on top that i haven't checked out yet that i'm not included in the i'm not included in the grand total for today do like a lamp i do like a lamp this is the biggest corinthian col brass column lamp i've seen probably ever still a table lamp but a very large one it's a substantial one i'm probably undervaluing this as well because some of them go for really strong money but the listing value i'm going to put on that is 30 pound i will check it out prior to listing it as well next to it a more modern lamp uh, still brass but you can tell because of the plastic fittings that it's uh, it's modern i like this i've sold this style of lamp before and uh, there was a bit of a casualty on the way home it did come with a lampshade but the lampshade never made it got damaged in the back of the car i probably would have binned it anyway because of the size of postage anyway listing value on that one 20 25 pound next up we've got this denon stack system i'm going to need to test this within an inch of its life because uh, well shall we just say when i went to load it into the car i noticed some water under it as a <laughs> and i'm no electrician but i'm sure high fires aren't supposed to leak water so, <laughs> so that's going to need testing every component of it it's got its cables with it so i can test it and obviously i've got some speakers to test it with the listing value i'm going to put on this is going to be for it separated because separated i'll get a better return than selling it as a whole the best value item of the stack is going to be the amplifier so listing value on the amplifier is 40 pound underneath it we've got the tape deck a listing value of 35 pound below that we've got the tuner listing value 20 pound and right at the bottom the cd player again listing value 35 pound so 130 pound for that obviously assuming it's working after testing think even complete with speakers you probably struggling to get that these days so worthwhile splitting down from green i think these were the brand spanking new samuel windsor chelsea boots chelsea boots are strong sellers i've never seen the appeal personally but that's really not important 
there is value to them. Because they're brand new, the list of value I'm going to put on those is £40. Next is a little bit rusty, a little bit ropey, this, uh, this box. This is a Brexton picnic set. It looks like it's just missing a couple of its containers. Aside from that, these thermos flasks are in great condition and mostly, mostly complete. Now, there is a bit of a get out of jail free card with Brexton sets, and I proved it to Miss Old just recently because even though it's not complete that will drag down uh, the, the the value of it and because the fastenings are rusty and it's just looking a little bit too tired it's probably not going to be worth my while selling it as a set however its component parts hold really really good value there are the lids and the uh, cups for these thermos historically i've got up to 30 pound a piece for this style thermos flask Re very recently i've sold a pair of the brexton food containers for well, i think they went for about 15 pound and if i'm not much mistaken the cups and the plates will be brexton brand as well so they all have a value and i think I ended up just been in the case for the last one that I picked up from auction. So the listing value for the video I'm going to put on it anyway is assuming I'm going to sell it complete. There's a range of 40 to 50 pound. So listing value for the video, 40 pound. The first of two sets of Celestian speakers. These are the MP1s. Celestian, very, very good brand. Very good brand indeed. Some of them go for crazy money. Not quite so much in this case, but there's a little bit of wear to them. They will clean up nicely though. Listing value on those ones, 45 pound. And the other the pair of Celestian speakers. These are the Celestion 5. It says £20 on the top, but I think I paid 15 did a bit of a deal with the seller. Very few comps for these, but very, very good value. List of value I'm going to put on those is £150. From the same seller, these two Folio Society books. Every time, it's very rare I'll pick books up, but every time I see Folio Society, my ears always prick up. Some of the sets go for phenomenal money, and individually, most of the books will go for decent bread and but a kind of valuations. These are right down the low end of value for Folio Society books. These are two Bronte books, the sisters, Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights and Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre. I'm going to sell those as a pair actually and put a listing value of £15 on them. Remarkably, the only pair of trainers from today, nice pair of vans, listing value on those, £15 and they're a size 8. Surprise this Olympus camera didn't hold higher value actually. It's a waterproof camera. 12 megapixel this is the tough 3000 very good return though compared to what i paid for it listing value on that 30 pound i'm always picking up tapes for older camcorders and the like these are two panasonic ec45s because i paid a pound for both of them and more often than not when you're picking these up at boot sales you're picking up for very very little money anyway not significant value i mean for these ones but some of them can go for a decent wedge i'm going to sell, sell those as a pair and listing value eight pound recent precedent for me selling wetsuits but these are a decent brand gull wetsuits all sleeveless i think it's one male and two female looking at the styles of it looking at the shape of them kind of thing the listing value on those i'm going to put is 30 pound each this very very minty condition humax hb 1000 s receiver hd free set box set up box whatever you want to call it and it's a recorder as well humax fantastic value and most of the items if obviously if you're paying very little i rarely get less than 30 pound for a humor humax box but obviously make sure that it's the hdmi version some of the older ones only have scar and there's no value in them whatsoever listing value on that i'm probably undervaluing it as well it's 45 pound you get a big shout out to car boot chris chris hayden because i wouldn't really look at cycling stuff if it wasn't for his content so we've got four tops we've got a, a nalini top it feels more sort of like a, a soft shell, shell jacket than a, a typical cycling top listing value on that 15 pound the city one a bit more stereotypical xxl size listing value on that 12 pound endura is the brand for the next one apparently very well known brand in cycling circles listing value on that 15 pound of the tops this has definitely got the the highest value this is a pinarello sky cycling top triple xl i think this one says looks like triple xl listing value on that one 25 pound and some cycling bib and tights they call these uh, this is endura chat was saying it was over 100 pounds to buy but obviously you can only take that kind of um, advice with a pinch of salt but the listing value is a very healthy 25 pound on that one and 
Again, Bib and Tights, this is a Sydney brand, listing value on that one, £12. That's everything I'm putting the listing value on today, but there are other items that I did pick up. Uh, this is where we're going to get a bit interactive, because in this case here, I've got this incidentally with all the uh, plate collectibles, are two candelabras. These are antique candelabras as well. They're going to require quite a bit more uh, research because I mean, they're really, really garish. Uh, solid brass, very, very impressive thing. The lady that I picked them up, or, up from said that originally they would have come with a big glass bowl on the top, which has long since disappeared. There's some porcelain detailing on these as well. They look, I don't know, what, I mean, for me, they're just garish, but there's some potential here. <laughs> potential for what? I'm not sure. There aren't any defining markings to go off so I can do any research, but the I can't tell you how heavy they are. They're really substantial items. They both look identical. I think the, the porcelain on both may have different designs. I could do with some feedback actually from you guys uh, as far as keywords are concerned and I don't want to say valuation because I can do my own research obviously but a steer in the right direction won't go amiss so if you've got any ideas on the style or terms I need to be searching for my research then it'll be very much appreciated and again from the same seller is it a Japanese tea set this was from way back in the day I mean looking at even even the packing paper that it's been wrapped in let's get a date on these December the 11th, 1983 is when they were stored. These feel really, really delicate. Uh, the brand is Climax, which I believe is a Japanese brand. It feels like very, very fine china. I've checked one or two items for the, in the Climax range and it is all over the place. I might see if there's a complete set there for evaluation. But again, if anybody is familiar with the Climax, Climax brand, that's Climax with a K, then hit me up in the comments. And lastly, this bottle of whiskey which is brand spanking new recently he won in a raffle which obviously i can't sell on ebay oh i think i might need a little lie down after that lot now my thinking this week is because of the heat wave that all the boots i've been hitting are going to be really busy so i'm going to spend today Monday and tomorrow, a listing and boot sale Wednesday, definitely Thursday, potentially listing Friday and obviously hit it harder the weekend again. No better time to make hay than when the sun's shining. So watch out for the next video I'm going to do going through those figurines just to see if the, any of them are absolute diamonds in the rough. But of course, if you got any value out of this video, please hit the thumbs up. It'll give me a bit of a boost psychologically. <laughs> No, seriously, it really helps the channel and it is appreciated. Hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell to get notifications the next time I post a video up. Thank you very much indeed for supporting the channel, guys. Just smash through 6,000 subs and it really is mind-blowing to me how people just watch me witter on about these things. Very, very humbling and very much appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you in the next video only me don't forget to check out the video that i'm doing on these figurines see if we can find a thousand pound figure <laughs> i'm not holding my breath <laughs> see you soon